Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna take you to a journey while we're gonna be dancing some sweet Finnish tango. <laughs> I don't even know how to dance tango. Oh my god. I love Argentina, but I don't know anything about tango or tango. That's that's let's call it the way it should be called, no? And this is a this is a report from 1993 that told us that Finland was a very was a very sad country. People were really sad in Finland. They are not like now that you are the world's happiest country. That is always debatable. Like, how can you measure happiness? But whatever. Matrix system. No, I'm just kidding. Whatever. I'm saying too much shit. So let's just check out this report. Let's go. 60 minutes rewind. With a good part of Europe going to hell in a handbasket of ethnic and religious bloodshed, We've decided to visit a place where, if people don't exactly love their neighbors, they at least live in peace with them. Finland's the place, isolated by language and geography, where the national mission seems to be to not be noticed. It's the most sparse. Wait, 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 wait. Need to. Why is it like that? Wait. Sorry, yeah. Just gonna fix it for a moment. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, just written February 7, 1993. In Europe, it shares hundreds of miles of border with Russia. Half of it is permanently dark all winter. All of it suffers from the permanent glooms. But a rich country whose only excess is massive intake of alcohol and something else we'll get to later. This is not a day of national mourning in Helsinki, Finland's capital. These are Finns in their natural state. Brooding, <laughs> private, grimly in touch with. Why? Why is this picture so? I don't know. So aggressive. Look at these fucking people. They are all sad. What the fuck is wrong with them? Themselves. <laughs> Bro, why? Earth, depressed and proud of it. We found that no one looks anyone in the eye. So intensely private that to be noticed is an embarrassment. To take notice, an affront. Bro. Everyone is staring into your eyes. <laughs> you say that nobody is looking into uh, to anyone's eyes. It's no surprise <laughs> that Finland has one of the lowest birth rates and one of the highest suicide rates. A nation of garbos. They all want or want to be alone. Isolated by Arctic geography. Who doesn't want that? Of alphabet soup gone crazy. We're silent, brooding people. We think a lot. We like to keep our privacy and give the fellow man his privacy keep a distance Jan Knudsen pretty good. is a Finnish author and producer I agree with of the him. government radio service Finns he says have a difficult time making even the most casual social contact with a stranger on a bus for example I begin to think that I hope the other person doesn't say something I might have to engage in. bro he's not describing Finnish people he's describing myself <laughs> a conversation now what the hell it's you see me all fun and laughing, but if you see me in public, I'm not anything like that. I, I guarantee that. <laughs> and sometimes you have to. He actually says that, where are you going? And then it's, oh God, I have to talk now. Uh, even <laughs> this is me! What the hell? Let me brood for an hour. Uh... Bro, 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 I'm sorry if I'm stopping. I'm not gonna stop that much anymore, but like... Oh my god, this is like, oh, you, you see, I was like, when people ask me, why do you like Finland so much? Why are you making all these videos about Finland? Because some people, you know, some of my friends, uh, even my girlfriend will be asking me, you know, why why you always do that? Why you always uh, do videos about Finland, nothing else? I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know how to answer it. This video was what I should show everyone. Bro, I feel so related. I love it. I'm too polite to do that, so I go along and get irritated in the process. <laughs> that is so me. Though they claim Jolly Santa as a Finn, they take their pleasures painfully. The sauna. The sauna is a Finnish invention. Their favorite composer is their own John Sibelius, whose Arctic features are a guidebook to the national character. You don't read in the Finnish travel books that people don't like to talk. And so even all, all my little research before I moved to Finland, I didn't know that nobody would want to talk to me. I, Terry Schultz is an American reporter who's lived in Helsinki for three years. Even though she now speaks the language, the ice has yet to be broken. They resist even shaking hands. Oh, my, yeah, definitely. 
I wonder, yeah, shaking hands I think is, is, is pretty intense for them, but try to hug a fin. If you've ever tried to hug a fin, they're very, ooh, very shaky. Even Arya Kuriseva, a Finnish songstress and hardly a wallflower, is comfortable in Finland's icy reserve. We have like a wall here. We try to look at you and watch who you are, what you are, <laughs> before we dare to come to you and speak with you. And I guess American people are more like, hi, who are you? Where are you from? Nice to meet you. Yeah, Italians I too. love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it strikes me, uh, traveling around this country, that people are terribly shy, particularly the men. Among ourselves, we think this is the natural way to be, not to sort of stick out. It's easy to see that from coming from another country, you think of it as shyness, and it probably is, yes. So what do they do about this clinical shyness, this almost terminal melancholy? They come to places like this, there are 2,000 of them in the country, pay their 50 markas, that's about $12, and take part in what has become a kind of national obsession, the tango. Wow! It's just Please tell me, to this day, 30 years after, 31 years after, it's still like that. Please, please. Oh my God. So cool. To exaggerate the importance of this tango Finlandia. It can come upon a Finn anytime, anywhere. Tango halls are everywhere. For the lunchtime crowd on Helsinki's most fashionable avenue, the Mannerheim Inca Tooth. Damn, look at that! The night away <laughs> in the deep, deep woods. <laughs> All the halls have one thing in common, a sign like this one. It is a shield against shyness. It indicates when it's okay for a man to ask a woman to dance, and vice versa. Wow! So imagine the the intimate ordeal. Just imagine the terror. Bro, who came out with that idea? Is it might be like a, it might be even richer than I don't know than Bill Gates or than Elon Musk. How do you come up with an idea like that? <laughs> feeding on the feeding on the shyness of the people, bro. <laughs> That's a genius. Or shoulder. But the tango and this flashing light have become the official license to touch. The music and that illuminated word say it all. Not a further word need be said. It's all accepted within these, these very strict parameters of, of Finnish social being. And um, they, don't have to think, they don't have to think of what to do next. I mean, they don't have to be spontaneous and it's not uh, overtly sexy, which is something they're very afraid of. And so it's, it's all... It's all, all very well defined for them. There are strict rules to finish tango. The women stand on one side, as you've seen, the men stand on the other. The men. For them, there is an unwritten code of behavior. It's good if the man is sober enough to be able to make her <laughs> step on the woman's feet too much. <laughs> not if he's sober no, enough, no, do you no, just no, say no, that? No, no. And wait, wait, what did he say? Oh my god. Oh my god. He, he's just saying it with a straight face. That was making me laugh even more. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> and I'm with the room to be sober enough. Half of the dance steps and not step on the woman's feet too much. He should not smell of vomit or anything. <laughs> and then he should not sort of try to impose himself on the woman. He, he shouldn't make the woman feel uneasy. He, he should be the perfect gentleman. The corners of tango halls look like handbag heaven. It reflects more the basic honesty of Finns than wild girlish abandon. Yeah. You do that in Italy, you will find a, an empty, an empty aisle. <laughs> groin grinding, passionate Latin American version. The Finns have managed to neutralize all that. It's a sad shuffle in a minor key, with lyrics to reaffirm a couple's instinctive sense of hopelessness. Lyrics is very 
important because the stories are quite sad and melancholy stories and they are they are necessary to Finnish people. Ilpo Hakasolo is Finland's renowned historian of tango and the nation's leading tango judge. An upbeat tango, he cool. says, is unthinkable. No one would understand it. It might as well be in Japanese. Mm. Why this sadness? Because uh, we are um, very melancholy uh, people here in Finland. And, the, and we need that. Is it beyond just melancholy? Is it pessimistic in the sense that there will really be not much of a future for me? Perhaps it is not totally pessimistic, uh, but uh, very many other uh, uh, stories in the songs, uh, of course they are love songs, but uh, the most popular item is uh, love that is over, or love that you are still waiting, and you have waited that for uh, 20 last years, and oh my you God. are almost <laughs> sure that it never will come. <laughs> The story will continue after this. Ah, fuck. I thought it was a uh, grand already. The male is very prone to um, self-pity. Uh, so we have a lot of tango songs, for instance, which uh, are written by males. What are the stories? Of the sorrow, 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 sorrow. Sorrow, sorrow, Yes, sorrow. loss of uh, loved ones. And the words go, you took my brain away, you actually took my sense away, made me your slave, promised me it would be good between us, but it only lasted for a moment, and then you left me, and then it's, oh me. The tango singer has become... <laughs> Bro, that guy has so no emotions at all when he talks. He or she says things that no mere civilian would dare utter publicly or even privately. Arya Koreseva has performed this public service just about every night. Oh, she's so since beautiful. She Tango Queen of Finland. Just she's beautiful till this day. Hopefully she's still alive and I'm not just saying this, but yeah, I'm sure even 30 years from today, you know, that has been 30 years, I'm sure she must be like 60, right? Nowadays. Yeah, I'm sure she's still pretty beautiful this woman. One of those women that would never Somehow become I ugly. When I sing tango that I'm talking with their lips. They are not speaking their side, but they would like to say the things I'm saying, maybe. What's it? <laughs> Arya says that when she started performing, she was considered a freak by Finnish standards. Why is that girl laughing, the critics asked. Her audiences have learned to glumly accept this jolly and eccentric chanteuse. But are they having fun? They do, but they don't just doesn't show it. I don't know why. <laughs> but quite apart from the, these men you see in the dance floors, do, do Finnish men find it difficult to talk to you, for example? Older men uh, will speak with, to me easily than the younger ones. <laughs> <laughs> They're just too hard. <laughs> 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 she loves it so much. <laughs> She's <It's> terrible. <laughs> no. Oh my God, no. No. Not even, I mean, even lovers, I think. Well, I'd say you could say it once in a lifetime. If you. Bro, if this man, if you're a woman, let's be serious for a moment, okay? If this man comes to you and he says to you, I love you. With those eyes and all those emotions uh, <laughs> in his face, bro. How can you resist? How can you resist this man saying I love it, I love you to you? Come on! How? How? <laughs> of course, if this man is watching this video, big fan, big fan, biggest fan. So you have been married for <laughs> 20 years. Perhaps your spouse is on her deathbed. You could comfort her with saying I love you. But, uh, <laughs> It's Bro, the day I come to Finland, I want to get drunk with this man. <laughs> it's easy to me to say, like, to my boyfriend that I love you. It's, we have heard it on, on TV, on movies. <laughs> it's easier to me to say, I love you, than minä rakastan sinua. It's 
I guess it's I guess it's, it's, it won't feel different if you say I love you in a different language than it's not yours, right? I guess, you know? <laughs> very nice if I say I love you in Finnish. You slightly embarrassed when you say it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we don't use I love you so much as you do. You love almost, almost everybody. <laughs> <laughs> when a Finnish guy or man said I love you, he really means it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that was amazing! Oh my god, I feel like we should. These are the these are the videos that I should be reacting to. Oh my god, not those videos nowadays that uh, all YouTubers do, like uh, things I like about uh, Finland, things I don't like about Finland, what you should do, what you should not do. These are the things that. Oh my god, these are the things that nobody tells you. Come on, that's so cool. I mean, that was 30 years from now, so probably things have changed a lot, but. No, just show your video when you when you check out my reaction video first leave a like that's the first thing that you should do then leave a comment if you want to and then next thing find some uh, some relative that uh, were young you know in the in those years even now they're young you know as long as they, they can watch the video you know show them this video show it to them and uh, ask them what it was like and what has changed today and then get back to me and tell me in the comment section what they have said because i'm really interested about that come on that was really cool hope you've enjoyed my reaction guys keep on recommending me more stuff about finland and i will see you next time